Joyful Miles and I am on my way to the Baltimore Women's Classic 5K. It is my absolute favorite non-Disney 5K. You can see the gorgeous Inner Harbor behind me. Really, really, really beautiful part of Baltimore. So this is my, I want to say, fifth time doing this race. It's always a great, great time. They have a really nice um, eight week training program. Oh, look at that light. Yeah, here we go. This is better. They have an eight week training program beforehand that only costs $25. Um, there's in different areas, two locations. I think there's maybe eight different locations. And I signed up for it this year, but I only went once. I don't know, this time of year, I kind of always fall apart a little running wise. Um, I did really good in January. I did Dopey, then I did The Princess, and I did Tink, and then I kind of fall off the wagon, and I don't, I, I mean, I kept up with my training because I'm doing Chicago Marathon, but I don't really excel. And so for this race, I'm never at my peak. I, I don't PR here, and you know, that's okay, because that's just a really gorgeous run. So, and this morning I actually considered bailing. I hate to admit that, but it's true. I just wasn't feeling it. I stayed up late last night working on a book and I just didn't feel good. Um, but you know what? If my husband was here, he would have told me to suck it up, buttercup. So I came and look, it's a gorgeous morning and I'm so glad I did. We're gonna have some great weather for running. It's about 75 and nice and sunny with a little breeze, so yeah. It is good to suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> what? There we are. Ooh. This is the Finisher's Village. That's where I need to go. There is the finish line up there. And do you see that van? They give roses to every finisher. It's really nice. And there's the medals. Over there are the many, many ladies from Black Girls Run. They always have an amazing turnout every year and they get their group picture. Wow, wow. Big, big group this year. Here's bag check. Okay, a little tip if you ever come here and the lines for the porter pots are really crazy down there, you come to the ones down here where there are practically no lines. Okay, one thing I love about this race is outside the porter potties, they always have this little goodie box tampons, sunblock, huggy wipes. What else is it? Band aids, hair ties, deodorants. What a nice touch. I mean, how many other races do stuff like that? Okay, so I'm really glad I came. I knew I would be. Okay, see these athletes serving athletes right here? This is what I want to do one day. Big, big, big goal. Maybe for the Baltimore Marathon one year. And look, she's a part of Team Sparkle. Up there is Fort McHenry. Cool spot to view the start of the race. I wish I could remember how many women run this. I want to say 4,000. Maybe not. I don't know. Definitely a lot of women out here. I love it. We're almost ready to go. And I see my first tutu. And it's pink. How could you not love it? That's so sweet. They're here supporting mom. Here we go. I don't know what that tree is called, but I love it. Go Pink Supergirl!
Thank you. First small hill. Not big, but it always kicks me in the butt. Yep, it's kicking my butt. Okay, mile one. It's the toughest one, so it's a good one to get out of the way. First color station. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Mile two. I'm sweating my butt off. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this part is always misleading because over there is Inner Harbor and you think you're almost done, but you're not. And here we are back at Fiddle Hill. And we're back at the cool sparkly tree, whatever it's called. Now we're getting into my favorite part of the race. Thank you. The Inner Harbor. Now when you come around this corner, you might feel a nice breeze. And smell the air of the water. Oh my goodness, look what's up ahead. Cold towels. I could just wrap my whole body in one of them bad boys. We get roses. How sweet is that? Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's going to the door me. Thank you so much. Ah, and I'm taking them all with me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, look at this spread. Bananas, potato chips. I never eat potato chips, but you know what? Today I am. And there's watermelon down there. They always treat us ladies really well here. And another tent. Lots of shopping this year. And this is the line to get your picture by the banners. I might wait and see if that gets a little shorter later on. Category 45 to 49, Kathy Claypool of New Windsor, Maryland. Time 2212. Woo! That's right, congratulations. Okay, so I am heading out. Once again, I had an amazing time with this race. I don't know what my finish time was, 
I doubt it was a PR, just by the way that I felt. It was a little more hot and humid than I expected today, so I was, I was feeling it. Baltimore is very well known for their little quick, sudden burst of hills. But it doesn't matter. I got a lot of great video. I actually caught video of the last runner coming across, which was very emotional, very cool. Very glad I saw that. I met the winner in my age group, and she's actually from my hometown. Very cool. So I had a great time, and I'm glad that I didn't decide to wimp out this morning and stay home on my sofa with coffee and law and order because this was a lot more fun.